What's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you in how to call an API in JavaFX. But before we get started, please like and subscribe. All right, let's head over to our IDE and uh, open our scene builder to make the GUI. And I'm going to open this FXML file right here and open in scene builder. Okay and let's get rid of this existing one and i'm going to use a border pane layout and drag it right here resize to make it bigger and like that because we're going to use a dog api and i need a button and an image view so when i going to when i'm going to click on the fits button it will show a dog image from the image from the api and show it to our image view okay so i need uh vbox and insert to the top and a label and a button button all right and set alignment to center and change the text here to fetch api data using fetch api data using javafx change the font style to montserrat and make it bold around 50 make a uh, rename the button here to fetch fetch and change the font size font style first in montserrat uh bold make it around 20. all right and i need an image view and insert to the center okay and let's assign an fx id to our image view and uh an action event for our uh button btn okay and let's set the controller class here to make it work save that go back to our ide go to controller and remove the codes for it right here uh, use the fxml injection and declare the image view here and the variable and call the declare the action event fxml private void btn oops and this is going to be action event event all right and to call an api uh let me show it to you this is a this is the dog api so we're going to use this url url and uh, it will respond this json object here so this is the image url and this one is the image this one is the dog if i'm going to fetch this it will give me another dog picture all right and so to call an api there's uh, there are multiple ways to call an api and job for example using the http URL connection or using other third-party libraries like http client or ok http so in this tutorial I'm going to use the OKHTTP OK because it's much easier for easier for me. And let's download the dependency. The OKHTTP OK dependency right here. And you uh, you need to search for for example uh to get the dependency OKHTTP OK Maven dependency. All right and click on this maven repository 
And since this artifact was moved to this URL, let's click that. And the latest version of the dependency is version 5 alpha. So I'm going to uh, use that version and copy the dependency here. Go back to our IDE, open the bomb.xml file and go down right here. Make sure you don't uh, go beyond this uh, beyond this end tag or closing tag. So I'm going to paste the dependency here and refresh the Maven to download the dependency. All right, and let's go to our module info.java. Since we are using a modular project, we need to require the uh, package. So I'm going to require, declare requires OK HTTP. All right, and let's go back to our controller class and make the code. So uh, to make it easier for you, we can uh, we can follow their um, documentation. Let's open the home page and go down here and get a URL. This is the code. We can follow this code right here. So I'm going to write that here. And uh, I'm going to call the OK HTTP client. So this is going to be client. Post new OK HTTP client and make a request request import class oops request equals request dot builder oops what's what's that yep request at builder Oh, new and URL. So I'm going to copy the URL, the URL from our API. And paste it here and build. All right. And let's try catch response response equals to client new call client new call and pass in rest here that execute okay and catch io exception e that print stack trace Okay, now I'm going to create a string body equals response dot body and string as a body. All right, and let's try to run our application to, to see what that looks like. To see if our uh, code is working, okay? So let me close this for now and get rid of the explicit size here and rerun the application. Okay. And let me click on the button right here and it prints out the response. So we need to get the message here that contains the URL and we can uh, ignore this status here. So what should we do to get the message? So we need uh, another third party library, which is the uh, JSON converter. So we need to open our Chrome and Google. <clears throat> org that JSON Maven dependency. All right. And let's Copy the dependency right here. Go back to our palm.xml file. Paste the dependency and refresh the Maven. And 
um, declare the JSON JSON object import class to make it clear JSON object equals new JSON object and I think it's not required so I will to I will add requires org JSON directed to module Java module module and for the Java so it's going to be added here see this one and let's go back to our controller class and uh, I need a string to get the image URL uh, image URL equals to JSON object that gets string and uh, we need to get this string right here. This is the object and message. All right. And so we need to set the image, the URL to our image view. So I need I need a image class or let's import. Uh, let's uh, pass in directly to our image view. So I'm going to call the image view from here and image view that set image new image and import the class image class class so i'm going to pass in the image url here and that's it so let's try to run our application if that's working okay now it fits the data or the API. Let's wait for a while. Yep, you see this? You see this? So it's it's a bit smaller. Okay, I think the problem here is this one. So let's open properties. Okay. So let's uh, customize this. So um, going to extract this and image image that get height or width. Nope. Let's set the image right here. And image view that set fit width. Image that get width. All right. And let's run our application again. Fitch. No, it's not working. image view that set height to image that get height run yep there you are That's it. That's how you call an API in Java. So I hope you like in this video and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.